3D printing is revolutionizing the world as we know it. I mean, when, when last year, do you remember going to an actual shop and buying a lawnmower and now all of a sudden you can actually print one for yourself? But we have an expert to tell us a bit more about this innovative technology. We've got Mr. Bruce Bradford from Rectron. Good morning and thank you for, for coming in and just bringing us this exciting technology. Thank you, Kate. My word. So when we look at the spectrum of things that are available, what can be printed? What type of things can be printed with 3D printers? Well, I think it's more of a, a thing of what can't we print? You know, we wow. can we can really go to town on this and, and, and the future is just opening up. There's so many possibilities. We're looking at things of like education, on toys, on engineering, for architecture, for hobbyists at home, for people that are designing, for prototyping things. They're, they're, the, limit, the possibilities are really limitless. Yeah. I mean, I've been looking at some of these products that you have. I mean, just for instance, the fact that you, you printed this entire pink elephant that is able to move like that all on just one 3D printer. That, that's amazing. We'll talk about it later on. But today, we're printing something special that's happening right now in this machine. Um, what are we printing? Well, I see your ladies here. I've got an eye on some of the things here, and I thought I'd uh, uh, print an accessory for them. So oh. we're going to try and print a very nice, uh, pretty bracelet okay. and see how that comes out. All right, well, looking at this, I hope we get a nice and tight shot inside this. You can actually see it printing uh, every single step of the process, and hopefully at the end of this show, we'll have a, a beautiful bracelet for one of our ladies out there. We're very excited to find out more about this, but we'll chat later. But indeed, right now, let's talk about education, which I know I hope that a lot of the kids uh, watching out there will be very excited about stuff like this, because last year, our tw 2014, the matric pass rate was 75.8%, uh, which is a decrease of 2.4% from 2013. And education experts are predicted that the drop is largely due to the implementation of the new National Curriculum and Assessment Policy Statement known as CAPS. Now, Basic Education Minister Andy Mutter has uh, urged provinces to give unprecedented support to learners to help them uh, up the pass rate in their exams in 2015. Now, speaking of the class of 2027, we caught up with them as they started their first day of school in Grade 1 at Camps Bay Preparatory, while across town the class of 2015 at Spine Road High in Mitchell's Plain have big shoes to fill. Take a look. 